Hi everyone! My name is Erica Von Kleist and I'm the author of A Cool Approach to Jazz Theory, a step-by-step -step guidebook that helps beginning improvisers learn the basics of jazz harmony and chords. This video is supplemental to Chapter 4, Seventh Chords. One of the reasons I love playing jazz is because jazz harmony can be so dense and so lush and so unexpected. Seventh chords are no exception. To create seventh chords, we're going to expand upon major and minor triads. Let's start with major seventh chords. You already know the formula for a major triad is one, three, five. Well, we're going to go one step farther and add one more number, a seven. One, three, five, seven. In the key of C major, C is one, E is three, G is five, and B is seven. Already that sounds like a jazz chord. Let's do one more. An E major seven chord. One, three, five, seven. E is one, G sharp is three, B is five, and D sharp is seven. Now if you play flute, saxophone, trombone, or an instrument that doesn't play chords, you can pluck out each note individually. Let's start with our E major seven chord. called outlining, which is a great way to learn your chords on an instrument that can't play chords. The next type of seventh chord we're going to check out is dominant seven. The word dominant in dominant seven chords involves a really big explanation, but for now we're going to stick with what we know, and that's chord formulas. The formula for a dominant seven chord is one, three, five, flat seven. And as you know from the chapter on triads, when you flat something, you lower it one half step. Let's learn an A dominant seven chord. One, three, five, flat seven of the major scale. One, three, five, flat seven. A, C sharp, E, G natural. The seven would be G sharp, but when we flat it, it becomes G natural. That's our A7 chord. One more seventh chord to check out today. Minor seven. One, flat three, five, flat seven. Let's check out a B minor seven chord. So we're gonna start with the one, B. That's easy. The three in a B major scale is D sharp, but we need to flat that a half step. So that D sharp is going to become D natural. So our flat three is D natural. Our five in a B major scale is F sharp. And our seven would be A sharp, but we're going to flat that a half step down to A natural. So our chord is B, D, F sharp, A. One, flat three, five, flat seven. B minor seven. And I'm going to outline that on my flute. Just like that. If you need help, there are cheat sheets at the back of the book that have all of the scales and chord symbols so that you can reference them as you need them. Don't forget to do the exercises at the ends of each chapter. And visit jazztheoryiscool.com for more information on a cool approach to jazz theory. My name's Erica Von Kleist, and thanks for watching.